Welcome to the spoken tutorial on more on functions. In this tutorial, we will learn to pass an argument to a function, define local variable within a function and define global variable in a function with the help of some examples. To follow this tutorial, you should have knowledge of shell scripting in bash. If not, for relevant tutorials, please visit our website which is as shown. For this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 12.04 operating system, GNU Bash version 4.2. Please note, GNU Bash version 4 or above is recommended to practice this tutorial. Let us first learn how to pass an argument to a function and its usage. Let me open a file function underscore parameters dot sh. This is the shebang line. Our function name is say underscore welcome. Open curly bracket opens the function definition. Dollar one is the first positional parameter. Dollar two is the second positional parameter. Close curly bracket closes the function definition. Here, the function say welcome is called with arguments. The syntax is function name that is say welcome followed by the arguments within double quotes that is bash and learning. In a similar manner, I will call the same function with a different set of arguments. So I have say welcome space within double quote functions in space within double quote bash. Save the file and go to the terminal. Type chmod space plus x space function underscore parameters dot sh. Press enter. Type dot slash function underscore parameters dot sh. Press enter. We see that the positional parameters were substituted by the arguments passed to a function. Dollar one was substituted by the string bash and dollar two with learning. Then again dollar one was substituted by functions in and dollar two with bash. In bash, variables can be declared as local variables and global variables. Local variable, its value will be valid within the function in which it is defined. Local variables are declared using keyword local. Global variable, the value of a global variable can be accessed throughout a bash script. Let us learn these two ways to declare a variable within a function. Let me open a file named function underscore local dot sh. This is the shebang line. Function name is say underscore hello. Here variable first name is declared with keyword local which means its value will be valid within the function say hello only. A variable declared without any keyword is treated as a global variable. So, the variable last name can be accessed throughout the script. In this echo line, we will display the value of variables first name, middle name and last name. After this, we close the function. Now here, the variable middle name is declared without keyword, so its value will be global throughout the script. Once again, we call the function here. We pass two arguments to this function call, namely Pratik and Patil. This echo statement will display the value of variables, first name, middle name and last name. Please keep in mind that variable first name is a local variable. Save the file and go to the terminal. 
type chmod space plus x space function underscore local dot sh press enter type dot slash function underscore local dot sh press enter the first line of output displays the message hello Pratik K Patil here the variable first name that contains value Pratik is local which means the value is limited to the function now let us see how the local variable behaves outside the function here nothing is displayed in first name this is because the value of first name is local to the function and it is not available outside the function. Middle name and last name are printed as they are global variables. Hope the difference is clear to you. Let us now summarize. In this tutorial we learnt to pass arguments to a function, to declare local variable in a function, to declare global variable in a function with the help of few examples. As an assignment, write a program where the function accepts two arguments. The function should multiply the two arguments. Make three function calls with arguments 1, 2, 2, 3 and 3, 4. Watch the video available at the link shown below. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project it is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown below. The script has been contributed by FOSI and Spoken Tutorial Teams. This is Ashwini Patel from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.